Hey everyone, and welcome to our latest Pro Presenter release update. I'm Adam Johnson from the support team here at Renewed Vision. And today, I'm excited to announce a number of new features that will make it easier for you to get the most out of Pro Presenter. With us coming to the end of the year, we know that many of you are prepping for one of the biggest seasons at your organization. Christmas time can be full of long days and intense rehearsals, and we want to do everything we can to help with that burden. On November 6th, we'll be releasing the 2023 Christmas resources on Pro Content. Whether you need worship packs or even series artwork for Christmas services, we'll have you covered. We'll have 27 brand new packs, series graphics, social media templates, and even intro videos, all fully customizable to meet your needs. We look forward to becoming an essential part of your media team this holiday season. Now, before we jump into all of the new features within ProPresenter, we want to note that 7.15 officially adds support for Apple's latest OS, Mac OS 14, also called Sonoma. As we previously announced with the addition of Mac OS Sonoma, 7.15 will no longer support Mac OS 11, Big Sur, or earlier. So if you're still running an older OS, make sure you update to at least Mac OS 12 before updating to ProPresenter. In case you didn't know, all Mac OS updates are free and most computers purchased in the last eight years will support Mac OS 12 or later. But just in case, go ahead and check your own computer's OS options so you can continue using ProPresenter 7.15. Now, let's take a look at the new features available in ProPresenter 715. You asked, we listened. Something we know you'll be excited about is looks transitions. Now, when your looks are triggered, all the layer changes will happen seamlessly and at the same time. Whether you're hiding or showing a layer or changing the theme for the slide going to your live stream, your content will always be where it should be. Not only that, you can also set a customizable transition time for each look. In previous releases, all look changes occurred as a cut. Now, in 7.15, you can set a transition time anywhere from zero to five seconds, just like you can with slides or media. You can change this by going to our looks window and selecting our preset, and changing the transition time at the bottom of the window to whatever you want. So in this example, I'm putting together this week's service. At this part of the playlist, I'd like to swap my worship look for a full screen video. I'll go down here and change the transition from zero seconds, which should be a hard cut, to a dissolve of three seconds. Now when we reach the end of the last worship song, we simply select the video in the playlist, and the result is a smooth, seamless transition from one look to the next. It makes a tremendous difference. Every week, we're releasing over 100 new assets on Pro Content, but our team has been working hard not just creating new content, but also developing ways to give you better access to content that you need in your services. While many of our curated playlists are available in-app, to unlock all 50,000 individual resources available with your Pro Content subscription, you need to leave ProPresenter and go to the Pro Content website to access them. Now in 7.15, you can search for all Pro Content worship packs from within the ProPresenter media bin. In the media bin, there's now a Pro Content search field. Once you select this search bar, you'll see some of our most popular packs at the top. Start typing any keyword and you'll be presented with matching worship packs ranging from majestic landscapes to fresh motion graphic animations. We have a new song we're adding for this weekend, so let's quickly find a background. I can go into the new search window and type in mountains. Oh, and here's one I like. So I'll just drag it right into my song and that's it. We've got a new song with a new background all ready for this weekend without ever leaving ProPresenter. As a member of our support team at Renewed Vision, this next set of features may be one of my favorites that we've released. Okay, that's awkward. In any computer application, bugs and crashes occasionally happen. And let's be honest, it can be frustrating. With every single release, our QA and development teams pour hundreds of man hours into ensuring that ProPresenter runs smoothly on whatever setup you may be running. But we realize that no matter how infrequent a problem may be, in the moment, the only thing that matters is getting it solved as quickly as possible. To help with this, we've added some powerful new features to provide better support from right within ProPresenter to give you quicker access to communicating with us about your experience with ProPresenter. First up, we've added a new crash report window. Now for years, we've automatically documented information when crashes have occurred. These crash reports are helpful, but having the context of what was happening when the crash occurred makes it easier for our developers to troubleshoot problems. If ProPresenter ever unexpectedly quits on you, the next time you launch the app, you'll see a new window at startup. From here, you can add important details about your crash, such as what you were doing when the problem occurred and what you expected to happen instead. You can also attach any specific files to help our support team in troubleshooting your problem. 
After you hit send, our support team will immediately create a new ticket for you. In addition to the new crash dialog, we've also added a new support feedback dialog to allow you to immediately submit a new support ticket from within the app. You can find this by clicking the help menu and then clicking report an issue. Here you can add your contact information, specify what type of request you'd like to submit, and just like in the crash dialog, you can describe your problem as well as attach any relevant files such as your show files or even screenshots. You can also submit a feature request from the same window. In the help menu, we've also added new links to make our support resources more accessible than ever. We hope that through these new integrated support windows that we can help give you better access to our incredible support team. Sometimes you may come across an instance where your audio or video signals are out of sync with each other at the final output. Previously, we've been able to only delay the audio, but in rare cases, the video channel is actually ahead of the audio signal flow. Now in ProPresenter 715, we can add a delay to our video channel as well. But how do we know how much delay to add to either channel? You could just eyeball and guesstimate it, or you can use the new audio video sync to quickly see which signals are out of sync and by how much. This new test pattern is generated internally by ProPresenter, so you always know that it's the correct frame rate for your device. No more questions about whether your source content is in or out of sync. In our test patterns window, we can select audio video sync and check how much delay we need to add to which channel. We can then add individual frames to delay the video signal or add milliseconds to delay the audio signal to ensure our final output is fully in sync. We've also added a number of other new test patterns for you to be able to access and test for whatever your specific needs may be and help give you better control and accuracy on how your final presentation appears on your screens. Among the looks transitions, pro content updates, and support integrations that we've added today, ProPresenter 715 will also see a number of bug fixes and stability improvements, as well as a refreshed first launch experience for those using ProPresenter for the very first time. You can see a list of everything included in 715 by viewing the release notes, now accessible in the ProPresenter help menu. These improvements add to a vast number of features and updates we've seen over the last 12 months, and we hope that you can immediately begin utilizing them for a better experience. 7.15 is now available as a public beta for you to test out. You can download in-app by going to your settings and clicking updates, and then changing your update channel to beta. I want to encourage you to download it and give it a try. If you do see any problems, make sure to utilize the brand new support dialogues in-app. Thank you so much for joining us today.